This morning in the kitchen, we're going to be wrestling up some ingredients. <laughs> See what I did there, Christina, because it was a wrestling segment? I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, I'm with Chef Christina O'Donnell from The Simple Greek. She's going to be making, how do we say this, avgo? Yep, avgo limono. Avgo limono soup. Perfect yep. day for soup, we're just saying. It's kind of it rainy. Is. and uh, <laughs> So I love the Simple Greek. I just want to be clear on the record. I I'm go there so all the time. I'm so happy about that. Uh, I go for a little late dinner. I get the beans over the rice with the... Oh, yes. I was going to say, everybody here has always been very good to us. Awesome. <laughs> very good to us. And Christine, do we say... Giro? We say Hero. Hero. Yeah. All right. Yep. I just want to say that correctly. All right, let's we talk all about... We say it different. <laughs> all right, good. Uh, let's talk about the ingredients we have here. What do we need to make this uh, beautiful soup I'll here? say, just like the name, everything is very simple, straightforward. You just need some eggs, long grain white rice, okay. some cornstarch, lemon juice, a little chicken soup base, pepper, and some just cubed chicken. All right. That we just boil ourselves. Yep. And this is a uh, Greek dish. Is it is it traditional or is it, it is something? a traditional Greek chicken rice and lemon soup. Yep. Perfect for a, uh, a rainy cool Friday. rainy day or yeah. when you're just not feeling great. It's one of those like under the weather soups. It's one of my favorites. Awesome. Well, the ingredients look great. I uh, can't wait to dive into this a little later. And you said the uh, Simple Greek is also adding a location. Is that correct? We are actually. We're looking to open on June 25th um, in Garden City. There a you much go. anticipated location, so All we're right. excited. So I'll be stopping by the one that exists now, and then I'll be stopping by the new one, too. Oh, I look forward to seeing you there. All right, and we'll be back with more with Christina making this delicious soup. Back to you, Mikhail. Kitchen with Chef Christina O'Donnell from the Simple Greek. Love this place. I'm so happy. We're always happy to hear that. You know what it is, Christina? I was realizing, I was just telling you, I do a radio show in Boston. Yep. And I cut, Monday through Friday, I come back to Rhode Island a little later, like 8.30 at night. Yep. And it's like you can get fast food, but it's healthy. Like I get the rice, the chicken it going is, on yeah. it. Little uh, green beans, and I feel oh, like I'm yes. getting something quick but delicious. I'll and, say those green beans are amazing. <laughs> and it's something like this is quick and delicious too. So we've got this soup. And remind us again, what is yep. this called? It's avgo limono. Okay. Yep. And then, like I said, it's just a traditional um, Greek chicken soup. Mm -hmm. um, very basic ingredients. Um, we have most of it in the pot already. We're actually going to add in the chicken right now. All right, let's do and it. Get that going. All right. Can oh, you help yeah, it all? Let me know if I can, can. help. Here, of you, 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 you can. do it. You're the chef. I was going to say, yep. We're oh, just, the whole thing. We, oh yes, it's all oh, going goodness. in. There. That's a lot of chicken. I was going to say, we are not shy with the chicken in this right. soup. Oh, sorry. Uh, no. Oh. Working in the kitchen. She splashes. I'm so, so used to hot <laughs> stuff, so it is perfectly fine. Trust me, darling. Wow, this is great. I was going to say, we're going to make a mess today, but it's going to be I fun. I love so. it. <laughs> and then we have some uh, eggs here. Now, we what, do. Yep, what do that the eggs is the last do step. Um, to a that soup? That is actually, it is part of the base of the broth. Um, so right toward the end, we actually mix the last few ingredients together, and we temper the egg down so that you know, nobody wants scrambled eggs in there. Soup. <laughs> right, um, right, so we're right. going to temper those down and then we just add it in and it just gives the broth that nice thick consistency that you're looking for the egg and the cornstarch together. Okay. Now yep. would you have this as as an add-on or could you have the soup as your meal? As you absolutely could. Okay. Um, I know a lot of people actually do come into the restaurant and they tend to either get the avgo limono or we also offer a lentil soup as well okay. um, for the vegetarian and vegan option. Um, and a lot of people will do it with either a side of teropita or spenacopita which are our traditional um, feta pies and spinach and feta pies. Oh, I love the um, feta Which cheese. they are really, really good yeah. together. So you get a nice little bowl of soup and a cheese pie. It is delicious. All right. Yeah. Do you want me to stir anything you, while we wait? Of course you okay. can. I yeah. can't wait to taste this, and we'll taste this in just minutes. Oh, yes. This is going to be done very shortly. Uh, the, by the way, the uh, Simple Greek is our roadie deal. So make sure you get in on that, and uh, we'll talk to you in We're a minute. Absolutely. All right, back to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen one last time with the Simple Greek. Chef Christina is uh, making some delicious soup and is wafting throughout the entire building. Mm. They are also today's roadie deal. It came live at 9 a.m. It's a $50 gift certificate for $25. I'm telling you, you do not want to miss this one. We call it the Greek joint. We stop by all the time. Maddie goes there, too. Yeah, I do. And we are making soup. It always makes me. Nothing like good soup. There really is not. On a day like today, it is a perfect mm. day, as funny as it is for being June. But yep. perfect day for soup today. Um, we are actually in the final stage of it. Okay. Um, right now we have our egg that we just whisked. We're going to add our lemon juice. Right. We're Ooh. going to put in a little bit of the pepper. Okay. 
and we'll whisk that. And then the cornstarch is also going to go into this now. Cornstarch tends to bind up really fast. Okay. okay. Um, so it's one of those things you just got to really give it a good whisk. So and then we're going actually, going on I was going to say, well, Burn my keep. <laughs> it gets easier when we temper the egg because the hot broth going into the egg will break up a lot of that cornstarch okay. for you. And tempering, and that's the method of kind of bringing those eggs to a yep. warmer temperature without scrambling. It absolutely. Okay. That way you don't just dump the cold egg right into the mm. hot soup. It will just turn into long pieces of scrambled egg. Yeah. And, and nobody wants to eat that in a especially soup. Especially in chicken soup. Exa uh. Exactly. This way, it just adds to the broth and makes it a little bit thicker. Okay. Um, and it just gives it that really nice, rich flavor, which is always, always good. I've never thought to grab do this as a, a thickening agent. I'm, so oh, I'm yep. really curious the, to see. The egg base and the cornstarch really does. The cornstarch alone will, will definitely thicken it. Okay. But the egg in general just gives it a really nice consistency to the broth. How's my whisking skills, Chef? Beautiful. Yeah? It looks great. Am I ready for Johnson & Wales? I was going to say, you're, you're ready for the simple grief. We'll take you <laughs> any day. All right. Speaking of which, you have a new location that's about to open we soon. We do, yeah. We are going to Garden City. Um, mm -hmm. We have quite a few locations that are uh, new stores that are going to go up in there. Mm -hmm. um, and we are going to be right just past the Newport Creamery. Um, I know it's a much anticipated location. We've been anticipated there for about a year now. Certainly. We're excited that so, you, you can reach more people. I was going to yeah. say, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I was going to say, it's such a busy plaza and mm -hmm. so much foot traffic. I think we're going to do phenomenally well there. Definitely. Um, everybody's kind of been waiting for us there. And a little something of everything, too. I know Maddie's still whisking away and whisking <laughs> away. Yeah. Um, but you do so much more than just like an entree or to go. I love getting those bowls, oh, like you said, yes. a little medley yep. dish. Yeah. You even do desserts. We absolutely do. Um, as we all know, we do the house-made rice pudding, which mm -hmm. I made last time I was on the show. Yeah. Um, we also offer our baklava, and that is a baklava cheesecake. Man. It is one of those things you can only get with us. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know anywhere else that personally that sells it, and it is like the best of both. Oh of my worlds. gosh! I mean, that just it looks really phenomenal. is phenomenal. But I think I'm going to dive right in now to this little hummus I was plate. Say, that oh, you have those on. those hummuses. Also, all our sauces are house made, which is always nice. We, we can start to dollop. drop that okay. right into here. <laughs> Cool. And it is just amazing. I, you know, I, I was never too, too mm. big on hummus, and then I had our spiced hummus. It is probably yeah. my favorite thing I that we sell in the, store. I just them both. It is delicious. It is so, and a nice so little good. spice, too. And I'm feeling it now. It is. It has a nice little heat on the back end. It's mm -hmm. not overly hot, so it doesn't overwhelm your palate at all. And it is just such a nice little snack to have the hummus and pita right. chips. You can get that. You can get grape leaves. So if you want, yep. just want a little snack to go. I was going to really say, nice. yeah, we have the stuffed grape leaves that we serve with lemon. Um, mm -hmm. I do know some people tend to ask if they can have tzatziki and the feta with it. Um, we always accommodate either yes. way. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. And, and it's all ready. You see that broth just gets that nice, nice consistency. It's really all about the whisking, it. Mikhail. I'm not sure it, if you're aware really, of that. It, is. Oh. it absolutely is. I was going to say, like I said, you have a job with us anytime you want one, so <laughs> uh, we don't well, mind. Might need one in my profession. <laughs> <laughs> might need a backup. And that is beautiful. exactly what we were looking for. It, it did looks it change delicious. the color and consistency immediately. It does. Right. Almost yeah. immediately you see thickens it that right it just up, right? thickens right up and turns into that wow. nice brothy soup that we're wow. looking for. Mm -hmm. So I did grab you guys some bowls. Okay. okay. And this way we can all kind of get in on this. Yes. Now, this is fresh, hot soup. Fresh now, you said that right all, also, however, store. soup's one of those things you can have when it's been sitting around and you heat it up later. It's almost absolutely. better in a way. I was yeah. going to say, absolutely. It's just one of those things where you have it the next day, and mm. it just all those flavors kind of marry together. Mm. Make a big vat. And it, it is God, just phenomenal. Here we go, May. Uh, thank give you, Kayla. You can never we get it give any better no, than fresh off the stove. <laughs> it will be hot. Yeah. Yes, we're going to let that cool for a little bit. <laughs> 